Hey guys, this is Fate, and I wanted to talk about what's the difference between weapon efficiency and weapon damage. So far, weapon damage has been used as a means of min-maxing. Now, min-maxing is basically a concept where you're trying to look for the most damage out of the weapon. Now, weapon efficiency is completely different. It's much more complicated than min-maxing because min-maxing is just straight up putting as much mods as you can to make the weapon even, you know, more powerful. Now, the difference between weapon efficiency and damage is that weapon efficiency calculates the damage, the ammo consumption, the accuracy, and kill per bullet. A good example is the dread. The dread does large amounts of damage. You don't use as much ammo as most weapons. It's very accurate, especially when you know how to predict the enemy's movements. And it also has innate punch throughs, so you're killing more enemies instead of just one by one. And innate punch through is very, very good, mostly because since usually enemies pile onto each other, so there will be times where you're actually shooting at a body instead of the actual enemy, because ragdolls sort of go wonky from time to time. There's also the case that you hit more than one enemy at a time because of any punch through. So you're basically doing more damage technically because you're hitting multiple enemies at once. Now another weapon that would be considered an efficient weapon would be the Soma Prime. But because the Soma Prime is killing one person at a time, even though it has a large clip to kill multiple enemies at once, you'll be losing a lot more ammo than you're actually saving. And you start noticing that when you start seeing that your ammo is slowly depleting faster and faster over time. This is why you see a lot of people use the Tonkor or any sort of weapon that has a bit of an AoE spread. You can hit multiple enemies at once and even if the first shot didn't kill them, the second shot will. And this is when the saying AoE and crowd control is the dominant race in Warframe and as sad as that sounds, that's really how it is. And that's why there's really no weapon diversity because a lot of the weapons are basically like a Soma Prime where you're using up more ammo than you are actually killing. Now the question is, am I trying to discourage anyone from using their favorite weapon? No, not really. Yes, there is a lack of weapon diversity, especially thanks to the modding system that we have right now. But it shouldn't be discouraging anyone from using their own favorite weapon. Because my favorite weapon is Defectus Prime. And even though that is not exactly weapon efficient, I still love it because it's still a weapon type I like. Same with when I use the Comb, for instance. The Comb is one of my favorites as well. I could be using the Dread over and over and over again, but because I rather keep my sanity and actually have fun in the game, I rather use whatever weapon I choose. Now, I got a question for you. Should DE change damage 2.0 and the modding system or one or the other? Should they try to be more diverse with their weapons? Maybe all of the above? Leave a comment down below. I actually want to see what your thoughts are in this matter. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video. This is Fate, signing out. You are not alone. This tower is full of life forms, all corrupted by the neural sentry. Oh my god, I haven't used the gun in a while.
My warframe is strong. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Penis.